Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. Today I am playing a pre-release build of The Girl of Glass, A Summer Bird's Tale. And the developer was so kind to provide me with a, well, a pre-release key for this game. I don't know anything about this game. So let's continue and see what it is about. <laughs> Okay. Nice piano tune. Start a new game. A summer bird's tale. It had been the best summer of her life, but also the worst. She had lost so much, but she had found courage. And for the first time, she felt like she had a future. It was time to leave the past behind. She decided to look at the photos one last time. The old woman in the next seat leaned in. That's a beautiful collection you have, dear. Young woman looks delightful. Is she your friend? Hmm. So. Oh, look at that. Get a few mushrooms here. I wish I really know she's a dork. You know, I, I'm presented with a bunch of options here, but I have no idea. I guess I'll just stay positive, I guess. I wish. She's amazing, but I'm always so nervous around her. She must think I'm an idiot. If she truly is amazing, she would not think ill of you for being nervous. You're right. But none of it matters to me. Hmm, the picture. That's a pompous lady, if I have seen her. She's the worst. I actually pity her. She's not that bad. Again, I'll just... You know, I, I have to make a choice here, but I, 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 I have no context, so that's a bit weird to start a game like this. But, okay, she's not that bad. I'm gonna stay positive. I mean, we insult each other all the time. But I kind of liked it. That's good to hear, dear. Just keep in mind that sometimes it can be difficult for others to distinguish between friendly banter and mockery. That is true. Oh, look at that. Some kind of clown. And who might this colorful character be? That's clown. All right. He's a joke. He's hilarious. He's not as colorful as he seems. So clown is a joke, but he, he's hilarious. Again, I'm just going with the positive here. The jokes are brilliant. I can imagine. It's a shame no one will hear them ever again. Oh, really? Really? What, what happened? Okay, who we have here? This looks like a man who knows what he wants. I guess he just wanted a friend, and he wanted was to be taken seriously. The only thing he cared about was running the circus. Oh. The only thing he cared about was running the circus, I guess. I was never more than an employee for him. You may be certain of that. He never asked me any personal questions. I think he doesn't even know my name. Anything personal about him? No. Why not? I guess I never asked. I understand. Manager employee relationship can be difficult. Look at that. Who's this? What a fascinating woman. What is she like? 
Dangerous, likable, I have no idea. She's quite likable. Again, win with the positive. Seven that never said much. She didn't expect me to speak either. But her company was relaxing. Well, it is always pleasant to have somebody with whom silence is comfortable. But it turns out she might actually be a bad person. Okay. Crystal paused for a moment. Did she really know these people? Or was she just making it up on the spot? What if she had answered differently? Would her memories of them change? Oh, could these questions be sort of pre-position of how the story might unfold in the game? That would be interesting. She tried not to think about it. After all, it was natural for her mind to be scattered, considering what she had been through. The final photograph was the one of her and the boy. That's a good boy. Where is he now? Crystal hesitated. She didn't know what to say. He was the reason she had made it this far, but then... just the thought of it made her nauseous. And then something even more horrible dawned on her. When she saw the eagle, her blood ran cold. A million thoughts rushed through her head. How could she have been so stupid to think she'd just get on a train and get away? She was naive, and now reality caught up with her. This time, she had nowhere to run. After all, she was still the frail little girl she had always been. And he was much too strong. Like she or he cut up with her. You don't have to do this. You're doing this, aren't you? You don't have to do this. You brought this on yourself, little girl. I have no choice. Maybe he was right, Crystal thought. Maybe it was her own fault. But did it really have to end this way? Oh, really? Did she? Did he just hit her? Girls and boys, ladies and gents. I hope you are sitting comfortably on your tushies. What's that? Tushies. Because the show we have prepared for you is so exciting, so thrilling, and so funny. You will not be moving an inch over the next hour. Take it away! Funny, maybe, but thrilling and exciting was a bit of an exaggeration. In fact, the circus had fallen far since its golden days. Over the last couple of years, many performers had left. But who could blame them? After all, they joined the circus expecting adventure. When they learned that the ringmaster refused to travel, they eventually got bored and moved on with their lives. The only performers left were those who had nowhere else to go. The circus was their safe haven. It didn't matter to them that the show was dull. They just wanted to escape the real world. Crystal wasn't one of the performers, but she still couldn't leave the circus. If anything, she felt like a prisoner. Sure, the circus was safe, but it was also deadly monotonous. She was tired of hiding from the rest of the world. When would it be her turn for some adventure? Well, I think that time is now. Chapter 1. Click on the ground to walk and double click to run. So, oh, that was a nice transition. Sun touched her skin. She had been blindsided by summer. It was as if Mother Nature had fallen asleep on the job only to wake up and fast forward several months overnight. For a moment, nothing else mattered. All right. Hey, you! The voice was like a cloud intercepting the rays of light. Then, she saw the boy. Hi there! Haha, you're a lively one. It's just nice to meet somebody new. What's your name? Hmm. 
crystal, I just said. Nice to meet you, crystal. Um, so what kind of service do you provide? You don't get any weird ideas. Don't worry. So, do you perform here? Not really. Not even sing in the shower? Well, that I do. Then you're one kind of a performer, huh? I guess. <laughs> you have a pretty laugh. Too bad no one gets to hear it. You would live and live in a circus. Shouldn't you be laughing all day long? Look around. Does this seem like a fun place? Looks okay to me. I want something more than just okay. It's not, it's boring. Shouldn't complain. Well, she, she said. She felt like it was boring. Then why don't you leave? The ringmaster, I'm too weak, I don't know. I think the ringmaster. Is he keeping you here against your will? Well, kind of. Then let me rescue you. Save me from this place, my prince. I can't run away with a stranger. Be sensible. Why not? If you were a murderer. What? I mean, like... Why would you want me to come with you? I'd only drag you down. So you gotta be some creepy-ass murderer. That's silly. I don't want to murder anybody, or hurt anyone. I'm sure that's what all murderers say. No, I mean, if I kill you, carrying your dead body will really show, slow me down. <laughs> Psychopath warning. Ha <laughs> ha. <laughs> At least we have the same kind of humor. So you want to come with me or not? It's not that I don't want to, it's just so sudden. Crystal knew that opportunities like this don't grow on trees. Maybe this was her only chance to leave the circus. Will you let me sleep on it? Yep, of course. Stick around till the morning. Come see me when you've made up your mind. Just a sec, before you go. Can I take a picture of us? Interesting, because... We saw that picture with her and him. And she wasn't really happy. I'd rather not. But this might be the beginning of a great adventure. We need a photo to immortalize it. Fine. Oh, really fine. So I don't have any influence here. The boy snapped a photo mm. and put it in his pocket. They said their goodbyes for now. That's a bit unfortunate. So I got a choice. Crystal was happy about meeting the boy. But could she really run off with him? It's not like the others would mind. They probably wouldn't even notice she was gone until they ran out of clean underwear. But she still owed the ringmaster a big one. Okay. She decided to give the circus one last chance. Her mind would be made up by the morning. It was time for dinner. She could smell the stew from the caravan. Well, we know that she will leave the circus, so... Hmm. Okay, now... I love that... Music in the background is really soothing. A classical tune. Obviously, this is a point-and-click adventure game. And I do love the backdrops. You've got a, a sort of oil painting... Kind of... I don't see if I can... Oh, look at this. Question mark. Above the bear. Crystal shivered when she looked at the giant teddy bear. It was supposed to be an obtainable price back when they had games at the circus. But that was a scam. Now it just stood there, staring at her in the night. Okay. Let me go to the settings, because the... Music is a bit loud at times, it's a bit mixed baggy. Let's check the 
look at this little machine. The fortune telling machine was old. While it did have a coin slot, Crystal had discovered it could also be started with a well placed slap. Crystal gave it a whack. Tomorrow will be a productive day, don't oversleep. It always said the same thing. Crystal figured the ringmaster had programmed it. Okay, what is this? The only thing inside the ticket booth was the footstool the ringmaster used to reach over the counter. That, and a tip jar with two popsicle sticks and a lonely shirt button. I'm not supposed to afford a fancy college degree if people keep tipping us with garbage. Don't they know I work for tips? They probably don't even know I exist. Or who am I kidding? I'll never go to college. I can't even read. I would have to start from scratch in kindergarten. On second thought, the shirt button looks kind of nice. Oh, here we go. There's a, a shirt button going into my inventory. Look at that. Nicely done. Oh, we can actually go inside the shirt stand. I think we should do that. Mm, nice. Oh, there's a... Crystal stared at the daredevil's dusty cannon. He had left the circus to become an accountant. Numbers were more thrilling, he said. Crystal wouldn't know. She never learned math. Right, well, I have to say... The characters look kind of basic, but the backgrounds are really nice. And sort of atmospheric and colorful, which I like. Voice acting is okay. And a crystal girl in a circus. That's an interesting protagonist, I'd say. Better not, not let this lie around. Oh, look at that. We've picked up a broom. So we have a broom and a lonely shirt button. Okay. So it is a little bit pixel hunting. I'm looking for things to interact with. Ooh, cannonball. The large ball used to be part of the tamer's performance. But since the tamer left and the lion was released into the wild, the ringmaster forced the cat to balance on top of the ball instead. Crystal almost fitted it. Okay. Let's interact with the... Uh the clown, the clown, a man in his best years, he was juggling, dancing, and telling jokes all day long. He could put a smile on anyone. Crystal admired him. Sorry, little miss. Can't chitly chat right now. But you said but. <laughs> <laughs> So hungry, but the show must go on. The clown was busy. It seemed only food could take his mind off juggling. All right, let's take a look here. Some kind of window in the tent. The door to the stables was locked. Crystal wasn't allowed to enter without supervision. All right, so there's the stables up there. Doesn't seem like we can. Oh. What is this? Some shoes. What are they doing up there? Like, can we already use the, I don't know, use the broom with the shoes or something? What are they doing up there? I don't know. Not sure how this works. Question mark. Talk to the boy if you need help. Alright. So there's a... Seems like a hint system. But... I mean, I can... Use items on items here. But it doesn't do much. Now let's go outside again. Do I can drop from the back to... Okay. Yeah, 
I tried that. The tall lady's cat was tormenting a pigeon. It hissed when Crystal came close. It wouldn't let her pass. She would need something to shoo it away with. Well, I have a broom, so let's see if we can interact with the cat and the broom. Look at that! I have a broom. Let's let that poor bird go. I will smack you. Obviously, the cat couldn't speak, but if it could, it would probably have said something like... Naive child, your attacks have no effect on me. We'll see about that. Oh, look at that. We got a little minigame. Click and hold inside the circle. Release. Oops. Wow, turn based combat. What's this sorcery? I did warn you. You're only making me upset. Alright. So there's turn based combat in this adventure game. That's interesting. Okay, let's try this. Oh, here we go. Oh, still not enough. I have this delightful taste in my mouth. It's rat, rabbit. I don't even know. Wait a second. You make me taste my own blood. You will pay for this. Okay. Can we just talk about this instead? Meow, no. Let us strike a deal. You may pass. Meow, keep the bird. Sounds good, yeah? Too late for that now? Really? We have to kill the cat or something? Burn in hell, girl of glass. <laughs> oh, really? Oh, the dialogue is a bit... Oh, well. Seems like we have to... Um, well, continue fighting the cat. That's okay, the cat's... I think she had enough. You should pick on someone your own size. Says the one bullying a tiny pigeon. <laughs> That's true. It's not the same thing. Why not? Birdie and me are just having fun. Yeah, right. Doesn't look like the pigeon <laughs> is having fun. Of course it is. Tell her, Birdie, tell her how much fun we're having. Help! <laughs> okay. Okay. You shut up or me will bite your neck off. Crystal says, darn. I've seen enough. Let's finish this. Right? Cat. Oh, for me. Cat is no match for me. Alright, one more time. The cat is done now. Oh! I don't know about hitting cats with brooms. We'll meet again, girl of glass. Alright, so we got rid When of the cat was gone, the bird chirped. Everyone knows birds can't speak either. But Crystal imagined it had something to say. Alright, what does it say? Thanks for saving me. Don't thank me, I'm just doing my job as a janitor. Um, I mean, the guardian of the circus. On a mission to deliver a so important letter to somebody at the circus, I'm tired to continue. Fret not, I will deliver it for you. I'm forever indebted. Crystal couldn't decipher the name on the envelope. She would have to ask around to find its recipient. Well, look at that. We got a little letter. Hmm, interesting. We might ask the boy about the letter. What if I combine it with the boy? Maybe the boy can read. 
Why are you showing me this? Okay. Well, obviously, he doesn't want to read it. Continue here. Oh, wait. What's up with that? This flag. There's a question mark there. The flag was attached to a long, sturdy rope, but it was entangled at the top of the pole. It was a Gordian knot only a pair of scissors could sort out. Alright, we gotta keep that in mind then. The ringmaster was in a wild argument with a large officer. This was the sheriff. His presence meant trouble for the circus. He was a disciple of the eagle, the tyrant who ruled the country. Their affiliation was official by the emblem he carried on his chest. Before Crystal came close enough to hear their conversation, the ringmaster slammed the door in the sheriff's face. Right. I'll find dirt on you, Ringmaster, and when I do, I'll be back. Get out of the way, Scoundrel. Um, your zipper is open. I'm not falling for that. Suit yourself. It really is open. The sheriff pushed Crystal aside and left the circus. I wonder what he wants. Check out the well. It hadn't rained for weeks. There wasn't a single drop of water at the bottom of the well. All right. Duck on top of the trailer. Well, let's talk to the lady first. Who is she? The well-dressed lanky woman was prima donna Luciana Valentina Scorticini. Crystal called her the tall lady for simplicity. She used to be a famous opera singer. Or at least so she claimed. But she had left that life behind when she joined the circus. When the ringmaster brought Crystal to the circus, the tall lady protested. Crystal never really understood why, but it was clear that the tall lady hated her guts. At first Crystal felt rejected, but eventually the tall lady grew on her. Crystal began to see through the insults and recognized a friendly tone behind the cold facade. Crystal figured that banter was just the way the tall lady connected with people, and so she played along. What do you want? Mm. Why was the sheriff here? Don't you worry, the little head about it. Let the adults deal with it. Oh, the English not that good here. Do not you worry. Okay. My head is only smaller because yours is full of air. Fine. I'll tell you. But do not think this means you can get involved. I'm sorry to inform you, but the sheriff is shutting us down. Oh. Oh? Is that all you have to say? After everything we've done for you, show us some respect. Right. I should be grateful for the privilege of washing the grapes prima donna's underwear and don't worry i won't tell anyone about your unreliable bladder oh really <laughs> um, all this stress is making my throat dry do not play stupid do something fetch me a bottle of water pronto that's italian for quickly crystal had no choice but to comply 
It was her job to serve the circus performers after all. But where would she find water? All right, so we gotta keep this in mind then. There's a bottle of water. And so it goes. And yes, it basically follows the traditional point and click adventure games. That you walk around, you interact with characters and items. The goose had moved into the circus the same day as Crystal arrived. It was probably just a coincidence. What did fill Crystal with wonder, however, was how it got there, because she had never seen it fly. Most of the time, it just sat on the roof and gazed out over the horizon. Crystal imagined it was missing its family. Inside the trailer. I'm loving the dream e graphics, I really do. It's very colorful, very detailed. Crystal remembered when these posters were made. It was back in the day when twice as many performers lived in the circus. Among others, the painted picture showed the tamer, the mechanic, the twin line dancers and the daredevil. She used to get along well with these people. They were all so kind to her when she arrived at the circus. But now they were gone. And every day Crystal asked herself what she was still doing at the circus. Alright. see if we can pick something up. The stove was warm and cozy. In the winter, she could sit and stare into the fire for hours. When she looked deep into the flames, everything else became dark. It allowed her to escape the circus, if only for just a moment. It really sets the tone of what is going on. And I do like that circus setting. It's something that you don't see a lot. It's imaginative. But again, if you're not into adventure games, you're probably not going to like these sort of games. I, but I have a sweet spot for adventure games, really. I just, you know, I just do. Usually they are crafted by talented people who want to tell a story. So let's try and see if we can talk to this person in a bear suit? This was the bear woman. She was the most recent addition to the circus crew. Why she chose to join the circus at the time when most of the performers were quitting remained a mystery to Crystal. She was taciturn and had a habit of sleeping during the day. Crystal didn't mind though. In fact, she found their relationship rather liberating. I'm, I'm wondering again what the choices that I made in the beginning actually sort of play out in the dialogue and the story. I would... It seems like it, but I'm not sure. Don't wake the sleeping bear, at least not without good reason. Alright. I don't think there's uh, a lot here, so let's go outside again. So there are a few things. Find a bottle of water for the lady. Run away with the boy in the morning. Go this way. The only thing you will find in the storage area is that wicked girl. If there were any water there, it would be contaminated by her profanity. Look elsewhere. Okay. Doesn't look like we can go to the left. So that means we're just hanging around here. Maybe if I give the f letter to the lady, maybe she can read it to me. Is this your letter? Haha, a letter. How inconvenient and old fashioned. Right, I forgot witches <laughs> use black magic to tele telecommunicate. Oh, did that hurt? Okay. Okay, that didn't work. Didn't work. So 
Might want to go back. See if there's anything we can do. Talk to the boy again, see if he knows. Hey, Crystal, I'm out of your mind already. Oh, sorry, still thinking. No problem. Is there something else on your mind? I need help. Um, may I be of service? The tall lady wants me to fetch her water, which only drinks the fancy bottled stuff. I noticed a clown juggling with the bottle. Oh, look at that. But he's too busy even to talk to me. The only two things on his mind are food and juggling. Maybe if I brought him food, he'd pause the juggling. There's a stew simming in the stove. I should fill a bowl and serve it to him. Okay. So, <laughs> I think I saw an empty bowl on the, the shelf inside the, ca the caravan. Sounds like you don't need my help anyway. Okay. Well, so yeah, that, you know, that's a classic problem with adventure games that you can easily overlook things that are sort of hide in the environments. I probably missed, uh, I did see the stove, but didn't see the bowl. But there should be a bowl of sorts somewhere. Oh, it's up on top of the stove. The stew smelled delicious. But if she wanted some, she would need a bowl. Alright, so find the bowl. Where's the bowl? Should be a bowl somewhere around here, but I couldn't find one. And I think she said that the bull was inside the caravan, but... Oh, what's that? Crystal was not too fond of how she looked in the mirror. All she could see was her flaws. So she'd rather not look at all. Oh, she's uh, low self-esteem. Well, I'm just... Hoovering over... Over things to see if there's any bowl around. Oh, what's this? So yeah, there's some pixel hunting. Well, not really pixel hunting, but... Crystal had been told to be careful with this teapot. It was made of china and supposedly very fragile. Crystal had once heard of a china girl living in another circus. The two of them must have a lot in common, she thought. She wished she could meet the girl of china. Okay, so we can pick up the pot. So where the hell's that bowl? Oh, look at that. There's something else there. Honey, the edible gold. The others wouldn't be happy if she took it all for herself. It took a lot of willpower, but Crystal managed to keep her paws off the jar. Okay, so... So it's a bit of a searching the environments for something to interact with. Which I'm not a huge fan of. Although... The the latest uh, Leisure Suit Larry Wet Dreams Don't Dry game that I reviewed. In that game, you just had to press the middle mouse button, and all the items you could uh, interact with sort of lit up. But here, you just have to hoover over it. So there, there are actually more items here, or things you can click on. The clock was out of battery. Just another detail which made the circus feel frozen in time. All right. Where's that bowl? So, if you so things are easily missed, and I'm not a huge fan of of that, unfortunately. But I, you know, you, it's it, it looks lovely. It looks beautifully drawn. Oh, look at that! Here we have the bowl. I think a sturdy bowl, great for serving hot stew. All right, so we have the bowl. Now we can get things going. So we use the bowl on the stew, on the stove. Crystal filled the bowl with stew, but this serving was not for her. No, I know where to go. So now we have the, the stew in the bowl. To the juggler, the clown. It seems like it's sort of an in-game hit system where you talk to the boy and it will give you sort of directions in a way. What to do next. Alright, he's gonna give him the stew. There we 
go. He's gonna like that. Oh, it's this superish delicious stew for me. Aha, of course, silly, who else? Thank you. Look at that, so now, they should uh, keep the tall lady quiet for a while. Here we go, we have the bottle. Yeah, a few items now in my inventory. Let's go back to the, um, so there's some back and forth, which is always the case in an adventure game. But you gotta admit, the, the gorgeous graphics, really well done. Here we go, we got the bottle, we give it to the lady. Look at that, the girl's good for something. Ah, I can't wait to quench this thirst. What? <laughs> well, carbonated water is great for the skin. You need it. <laughs> you did this on purpose. You're lucky I'm not the one running the circus. If I were, I would have thrown you out long ago. I cannot phantom what the ringmaster sees in you. The circus is business, not a damn charity. I'm sure he keeps me around to balance out the attractiveness of the female rest. <laughs> Very nice. Anyway, I've not seen my fury sweetheart for a while. Find him and bring him to me safely before darkness falls. I do not care if you say the clown sat on him or that the sky fell down. If anything happens, etc. It's Italian for I'll never forgive you. Idiota. That means idiot. I don't give a crap. I'll see if I can find the cat. I'm not doing it for you. Crystal felt remorse over beating up the cat earlier, but she wasn't in the mood to go looking for it. Finding the recipient to the letter seemed like a more important task. After that, she could search for the cat if it was still missing. Right. Can we now go to the storage? Oh, it looks like it. Ah, again, a lovely scene. We're inside the toilet. And other things. Well, this is how, f as far as I go now, we can save our game. I'm definitely going to continue playing it. It's intriguing. The only gripe I have with it right now is, well, things in the environment are so kind of hard to distinguish. The things that you can you need and interact with. Sometimes you see this question mark. And sometimes it's just really hoovering over things just to in the hope to find anything that you might need. So that's it for me. Looks good, plays good, sounds good. Yeah. Interesting. Anyway, hope you liked the video. See you next time.